Dr. Biden, Mrs. Johannes. My name is Lydia Deca. I'm a presidential advisor for education and research, and it's really my pleasure to be moderating this listening session. We've heard this morning uh, a lot about what uh, the government and international organizations are doing uh, in this uh, refugee crisis. But here we have a very special project, and I think you've seen the children in the, mm -hmm. in the classrooms working together, both Romanian and Ukrainian children. And this is due to a very successful project which um, pools resources from the government sector, the private sector, and the NGO capacity. Um, and I'm very fortunate to um, be able to first uh, introduce Mrs. Vidlana Salamatova, who can tell us more about the project in general. Okay. Thank you very much for this opportunity to present our project. And first of all, I want to say in point very strong that each successful project starts from love. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's our field, women's field, to love. And uh, this project happened to start, to start in 2004 in the University of Georgia, and because I met my husband at that time, and uh, we married, and uh, he was full director, and we spent 11 months, beautiful months in the US. And uh, I learned a lot from your US life. Uh -huh. uh, especially, things, especially, yes, <laughs> all good. And, uh, yes, very good, very good things. And now I change my love with Americans. I love the US and uh, US uh, people like UK. It's most uh, successful, I think, uh -huh. thing was happened. But anyway, all knowledge which I have, I came from the time. And uh, after that, since 2014, uh, I joined women leaders in Ukraine. And a year ago, we uh, established Geopolitical Alliance of Women. And it's happened a coordinate of war in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, because my goal was to join women uh, in, the, in Europe and uh, to create like belt, belt of peace or mm -hmm. strong, strong uh, network of women which can, can create as much as possible successful uh, project together. And it's happened here also. Mm -hmm. And now I have in Ukraine more than 50 uh, very strong women leaders, and they work in local communities. And uh, most of them now uh, support support our soldiers in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I am here. Or fortunately, I'm here mm -hmm. uh, because uh, because my network is there and my family here because my mother is 79 and he was born in, during the second war and now I don't want that, that she will pass away in, uh, out of Kiev. Mm -hmm. I do the best of her I can do. It. And certainly first my idea which I came and I, we came pass across the world uh, March 8. It's International Women's Day. It's yes, yes, yes. <laughs> certainly I, I had the uh -huh. idea and understood very consciously that very, very fast, we should organize uh, here a uh, systematic women's dialogue. We should meet and, mm -hmm. uh, and talk and understand what we can do together. It's happened here. We met Clotilde Armand and she uh, showed us this place for conversation. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, Mayor of uh, Sector 1, we start to sing, sing together and ask how we can use this space the best and we create uh, idea of school. The second, that uh, March 9, in the morning we, which I passed pass the board, I met Anna. She is my neighbor. <laughs> we met here. And she said that I want to uh, organize uh, education space. <laughs> it was her idea initially. Next day we met Bianca, and she is a journalist of Antenna One, and she provided interview and we were publicly declared in uh, Romanian TV that we want to, this, to have this education about it. Next day, a uh, local NGO uh, found me and said that we can help you. Ah. I want to talk to a chain of heart-to-heart uh, -heart people network. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
this is project came from, from our heart and from our wishes to help each other. It is why it's successful. Then, after human, human cooperation, we met UNICEF, which mm -hmm. support us very much. And thank you, according to uh, uh, their support, we will have a uh, stable, stable situation until January. Mm -hmm. Our women do, does not uh, want, uh, does not afraid to be here in Romania right now. They have free time to adapt it here to, to Romanian society because uh, children spend all days here and they our goal to, to bring happiness and love to our children. And they have it right now from us and from all organizations who support us. Also, I am very, very thankful of the uh, system of education of Romania. Uh, because certainly, according to they, uh, and thank you, Minister, for for support because your your office and office of president uh, provided a lot of educational work and we it's very easy to cooperate now and to do everything right. Mm -hmm. And also we very very uh, this space our project also not only school we don't call this school it's educational uh, educational space mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> because we use this space also to work with mothers and we can we talk mm -hmm. with them and help and uh, certainly special agency of immigration provide help with, we have conversation with them also they get got money which came from very big budget <laughs> yes. and uh, certainly our mother has this uh, financial support also and uh, I want to say thank you especially organization who is umbrella of this project because uh, I, it's impossible for me to work legally here as a geopolitical alliance of women we found umbrella organizations, Regina Maria Social Innovation Foundation. And we work together right now, and mm -hmm. uh, thank you, our angels here. And what I want to say at the end, I want to say that I believe in magic, and I believe in God. And I want to say that each magic which happened in our life came through the people. And this project is the result of this chain of love. And uh, I believe in women, mm -hmm. and only here, during this project, I, I provide a lot of projects in my life, but this project is very special, because only now I understand how important educational space, not education, uh, educational yes. space, mm -hmm. not online, of life, because having this space now, our women have, uh, have time, uh, have opportunity to organize her life here in Romania or other countries. It's made, made very important because if online, no. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to say that this project is very special because I understood that uh, uh, peace in Ukraine now is keeping in our women's hand. Mm -hmm. Our men had fighting in Ukraine. We are here, caring of children. Mm -hmm. And children is next generation, which provide peace in the home. And we're here. And, and thank you. you're safe. And yes. safe, please. We need this safe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for sharing the experience. And I would now like to ask uh, Mrs. Anastasia Konovalova from the Mihai Vitazu College to uh, tell us a little bit about the educational space organized there. Uh, thank you for coming, first of all. <laughs> thank you for for being interested in us. Uh, our, well, Svetlana's project started from love. My project started from fear. I crossed the border with my two-year-old son and everything I was thinking about is how to save my child from a city which was bombed. Mm -hmm. But then when I came here, came here and the first fear was gone, but then I saw all these children being literally abandoned because they came with their mothers who were going through hell. From, with families being torn, with our husbands staying behind us, and you are just being thrown out of your life, going nowhere. We didn't know where we were going. We have no friends, no relatives here. Thanks God, the Romanian people were here for us, and they helped us so much. They volunteered. Nobody, I think even Romanians didn't expect <laughs> that, that they could be so wonderful because you don't expect that from people. But then you see these children who are in their phones, who are being totally, I don't know, space cadets, because they didn't understand what was going on. 
So I realized, okay, I'm a teacher, I can teach. But I came here on the 4th of March, it was too early, and uh, nobody cared about education at that point. There were people yeah. coming here, they wanted, they, they needed to, to take care of them physically. So I went to the Ministry of Education, uh, or to the Embassy of Ukraine, and they didn't have time for me, and I went to other organizations, and it was a riot. And then I came to the <laughs> to Garadenor train station. And I think I was completely out of my mind because at some point I started to yell, I'm a teacher, give me an opportunity to teach for free, I can help. And nobody heard me, that, but there was that guy waiting for a train and he said, okay, stop scaring people. Look, <laughs> <laughs> look, uh, the major of the city is organizing a space for children, go mm -hmm. there. And we went there and uh, it was a wonderful space organized by volunteers with all these toys and, and, and furniture. Mm -hmm. It was, we started right away and we had four students on day one, 12 students on day two, but 47 on day three, so mm -hmm. there was no more space left. And mm -hmm. children kept coming and coming and coming. So we said, okay, is, and I know the strategy, you scream and somebody will listen. <laughs> I tried not to be that aggressive though. So I managed to find the contract of the Ministry of, the ministry of Education and some, the volunteer gave it to me. So I called, it was Sunday, but I didn't realize it was Sunday. So I called them and said, okay, can you help us with the classrooms for Ukrainian children? And they said, okay, it's Sunday, can I help you tomorrow? I said, sure, can I call you in the morning? <laughs> And uh, the next day, a head of the best school in Romania, best high school, they called me and said, we can give you eight classrooms to teach Ukrainians. We said, we don't need eight, we, don't need, we will have maximum 80 uh -huh. children. Then we come on Monday and we have 227 <coughs> oh. children. And they're like, okay, and so th 30 minutes before opening the school, and we're running around with the head teacher counting chairs because we're yes. not sure that they will all fit. And now we have 900 children in the waiting list because, because they all want education. Yes. And, and you know, uh, the, they're telling us our nation does not exist. But uh, you can see the, the way all these women, all these children are willing to come to Ukrainian schools. The world is open for us now. Mm -hmm. But what they need is a Ukrainian school. And they're in the waiting list, waiting for the opportunity to get Ukrainian education. They don't want to leave this country because they want to stay close to the border. As soon exactly. as it's safe, we're going back home. And having a wonderful friend now, I think forever, Romania and Romanian people. And I'm sure that when the war is over, we're back. And then we'll open our doors to Romanians. Mm -hmm. and I mean, this will be a whole new, new chapter of the world history because the, we can see how the world is united to help us and to support us. And this is incredible. And I, help, I, I thank not only Romania, but also the US who is helping us, not only supporting the refugees, but actually in our fight. Mm -hmm. Thank That's you so right. much. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. We stand with you. I hope you know that. We know. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much for this emotional and full story, and it's also full of humor, your <laughs> way of telling it. Um, I would now like to introduce uh, Mizana Sushko, Anna. she's a mother yes. from Kiev. Please. Yes. Hello, my name is Anna. I'm a mother of uh, two boys, uh, three and four years old. Today my elder son is five years old. Oh, yes. no, okay. It's a special day of <laughs> your visit and his birthday, thank you. Yes, and tomorrow I will have another birthday, my second son, yes. I'm a mother and uh, I come here by the, on the 1st of March. Uh, we was waiting on the board uh, with Romanian, all of our family and uh, we don't know can we cross because we mm -hmm. want to cross with my husband. Uh, we are adoption, we adopt a child, that's why we can, we have a small opportunity to come here by all of us. And uh, yes, we did it. I'm here with my husband, two boys and a dog. <laughs> yes, and it's Ukrainian, <laughs> yeah, we don't left anyone from mm -hmm. our family. Yes, and we come here, I don't uh, be here before, I don't know Romanian, people, country, I think that it will be for maybe two days and I will go to my mother into Poland and I'm staying here because I was really 
shocked and I'm really grateful for your people. They are amazing. I, I think all of us Ukrainians was really shocked. We don't know Romanian people yet. Thank you by this situation, not for this. Uh, um, I, I really uh, understand how how uh, not different we are. We are the same one. Uh -huh. Yes, we, we have the same history. We have the same uh, heart, as I think, because uh, uh, it's a big pleasure for me to be here and to have such opportunity to be in a um, in a country who support me, support mm -hmm. me and my boys. And uh, Svetlana told our small. Uh, history about how we meet and how we begin. We begin from the kindergarten, because uh, I had uh, my kindergarten on, uh, in Kiev. I mean, from Kiev too. And uh, I understand that I cannot be only one with two boys. They are very active. And I need to just to, to, to be uh, free for some two hours. And I understand that I need to do it here. Yeah. And uh, after one week of my tears and stress, uh, when I come here, I understand, no, I don't want to be a victim of this situation. They, I cannot give them to this uh, country not to destroy me in, inside. I want to be a hero. And the uh, project of our foundation, uh, Plan B, who support our kindergarten here, they asked me to come and to do it with them. And this project is named like Superheroes. They, they called us such, and I understand, wow, it's such a sign of universe. Yes, and this was uh, really the first step for me. And then we decided to make uh, a school. And uh, now I am uh, I help Svetlana and all our team to, to make here the democratic space. Mm -hmm. It's not a school, we don't uh, call it like it. Uh, we want to have an educational hub, educational space where we can uh, use uh, and uh, um, build a new model. We don't want to be, uh, we don't take anything from the Soviet Union system. And uh, it's like a really a, a very, for kids, it's freedom in the classroom. I, uh, um, I ask to come teachers, not the teachers only, but moms uh, or women who want to, uh, to speak to be with the kids in this uh, time, yeah, to support them, to become in a new uh, place, to have uh, more opportunity to understand what is uh, what they can do for themselves, to become to become more calm, more uh, mm -hmm. to have more uh, more friends, new and so on, and um, we build this. We need uh, some. Now we started from uh, uh, 30 kids. I'm looking for my team. I don't take. Uh, any teacher, because I need to find our uh, our friend who will first of all to be the friend for kids, not a teacher who will stand and talk to them what to do. This is our like democratical school. I mm -hmm. want to build build it here because in Ukraine it was starting here uh, before the war. All about um, maybe three or five projects I know in Kiev that wanted to take uh, to to make the democratical system in an educational one. That's why it's my, I think uh, it, it will be mine, uh, the first uh, point to do with this, this space and mm -hmm. to make it uh, bigger and bigger and uh, when the war stopped, we will come back with this, with this uh, experience, new model and new, more freedom for kids. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I'm here and uh, I'm very thank you. Uh, to come and you, thank you, your your people, very amazing. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you also. Like, I think you you are the amazing ones. <laughs> you know? Really, right? Didn't we say yes. this at lunch? Yes. We said this at lunch. Mm -hmm. How amazing the Romanian people have been, really. And the Ukrainians as well, and of course the Americans, because yes. we need them. <laughs> Open now that we have no borders for our hearts. Mm -hmm. It's not matter. That's beautifully put. Yes. We have yes. no borders for our hearts. Yes. 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 Thank no you. We have one more account uh, from this is Vitlana Goliak. She's a mother from Kharkiv. She does not speak English, but we have the help of a wonderful translator. Svetlana. Спасибо. Меня зовут Светлана. Я из города Харьков. У меня есть дочь Варвара. Вот. Мы приехали сюда две недели назад, в Бухарест. 
Когда началась война, мне позвонили рано утром, сказали, Света, начинается война, собирай вещи, забирай ребенка, прячься. Мы начали собирать все вещи первой необходимости и бежать в подвал. Ночью мы проснулись от взрыва. Мы спустились, но мы не знали, где лучше, где безопаснее, в подвале или в квартире. Вот. So, uh, when I received that call, somebody told me you pack and you leave. So we went to the basement, but I didn't feel that it was safe in the basement. Uh, I still was scared and afraid, and it was hard to tell where it is safer, in the basement or in the apartment. But we stayed in the basement. <coughs> Мой ребенок на свой возраст, ей 8 лет, она пережила очень много испытаний. Когда мы спустились в подвал, первое, о чем я очень сильно беспокоилась, это о том, что мы год назад лежали в Харьковской 16-й детской больнице в гематологии с проблемами крови. Вот. Когда мы спустились в подвал, там было сыро, мокро, холодно. Я переживала, чтобы ребенок не заболел, так как это может отразиться и дать рецидив болезни. Uh, so my daughter is uh, eight years old, and I was very scared and very concerned about her, especially when we went to the basement, because a year ago my daughter went through a very hard time. She was at the hospital. She had some problems with her blood. She she was <coughs> she was very ill. So this was a, a year later, and we went downstairs to the basement where it was very cold. It was. Uh, мы периодически на свой страх и риск поднимались наверх в квартиру, чтобы я ее погрела, переодела, так как было очень холодно. Все спустились с детьми, дети не понимали, что происходит. Uh, не все дети выдерживали находиться внизу, поэтому очень много плакали. Uh, очень много было ну, детской паники, криков, истерик, поэтому некоторые родители просто поднимались наверх, uh, потому что дети просто не выдерживали морально это все смотреть и слушать. Вот. From that to time, we would go upstairs because the, kids, the children were very much afraid. They were very cold and they were afraid and could not stand the situation. So we were very concerned about their health, about their mental stability. They started crying. They were very, very disturbed. And some of them were panicking. And we were not sure what was better, whether it would be better to stay downstairs in the basement I'll go upstairs and stay there because of their mental stability. We were very, very much concerned. Мы жили в подвале где-то полторы недели. Мы спускали кто что у кого что было, брали надувные матрасы, много одеял, подушки, спали в теплых курточках, в обуви, в шапках, во всем что было. Uh, so we stayed in the basement for about a week and a half. It was very cold, very uncomfortable. We uh, had our hats on, jackets, warm jackets, some kind of blankets, all that we can get, we brought downstairs. And we were sleeping on the inflatable beds. Я очень сильно переживала о том, чтобы ребенок не заболел, так как условий для лечения нет. 
Также я очень вспоминала всех детей, с которыми мы лежали в этой больнице. И я не, не могла никому ничем помочь. И я понимала, что детям очень сложно в такой ситуации будет дальнейшее лечение. And I had no opportunity there to help her or to provide any medical assistance or services. So uh, we uh, were very scared that uh, I would have to go back to the hospital, which would be not possible. So for us and for other children, it was really very hard to stay there and remain downstairs in the basement. Через полторы недели мы, слава Богу, выехали из, из города. Но это про, происходило так. Эм, мы с друзьями э, созвонились и договорились ехать. Харьков обстреливали со всех сторон. У нас было только две дороги, где можно было выехать. И мы на свой страх и риск, не зная, где какие действия происходят, мы выбрали одну дорогу. И когда мы там ехали, мы видели, что по второй очень активно идутся боевые действия. Нам очень повезло, что мы просто чудом поехали своим путем. So we understood that uh, we, we got together with some of our friends and decided to leave together. And uh, we knew that there were only two routes that would take us out of Kharkiv uh, to the safety. So, and we did not know which one to choose and we decided to pick one of the two and took that route out of the city. And we were very happy and thank God we picked that one because we saw that the other route was shelled by the enemies and they were very in, in danger. So we were just purely lucky when we picked the route that we took out of the city. Мы некоторое время жили, переехали в город Черновцы. Вот. Но ребенок, не понимая ситуации, он не может там адаптироваться, так как это много чужих людей вокруг. Это комната, двор, двор, комната. Дети очень сильно переживают, нервничают, и они не соответственно своему характеру себя ведут. У них характер поведения со всеми иной изменится. Со временем мы переехали в Румынию чтобы э, ребенок начал жить нормальной жизнью. Спасибо Ане Светлане, что мы познакомились. Вот. И я стараюсь активно помогать в создании этой школы, и ребенок э, совсем изменился. Пропали все слезы. Единственное, что она очень каждый день плачет, она очень сильно хочет видеть папу. Uh, so for some time we stayed, uh, when we moved out of, uh, left uh, Kharkiv, for some time we stayed in the city of Chernivtsi. Uh, and, but uh, for my daughter it was not the most comfortable place. She did not feel uh, home there. She uh, felt that he had, uh, I felt that she had hard time adapting to the situation there and to the new environment, people uh, there. So, because all we did, we stayed in a small room and then would walk outside and then to the room again. So there were not a whole lot of things for the child uh, to stay or to be engaged. And I saw that was reflected in her behavior and the way she uh, acted and her attitude. So I was very concerned about her health. And therefore, uh, later on, we came to Romania. 
And this was a game change for us. This was very important for, I, for my daughter. I can tell that uh, she changed a lot. She, be, she feels much better here. And thanks to Svetlana and her help, uh, we, we met and I met Svetlana. I was lucky to meet her. And uh, she helped uh, us with the school and everything. So I see now that the child has changed. No more tears and she adapted very nicely here. And is she healthy? Is she healthy now? Yes, as you store Thank you very much. Everything is good now. Yeah, I can see the smile. I was like <laughs> <laughs> I think now um, it's the moment where we've learned all these uh, emotional stories and also the wonderful things that you've done um, after you know coming here, uh, the help that you've provided for other mothers and their children and how you developed this educational space. We're extremely fortunate to have in front of us um, two first ladies, which are both teachers um, and can empathize and relate <laughs> to the efforts. Um, and this women-to-women -women dialogue, I think, um, gives us all strength and uh, will help uh, us all deal with the situation in hope of peace. Mm -hmm. So I give back the word to the first ladies. Well, I, I just think, you know, all of you are just incredible women that you put this together. I think mothers will do anything for their children and you, you fight for them, which is um, what mothers do, I think. And uh, so I just think you're amazingly strong and resilient. And um, it's just amazing that the Romanian people have taken you into their homes and into their hearts. And um, I think that's made all the difference for all of you for, from what you've said. And it's amazing how you came up with the idea of, of a school and structure for the children so that they feel safe and secure that they have what they know. And then, um, and then they have these incredible mothers. So uh, thank you. And so I do have to thank the First Lady of Romania for taking all the, all the people in. And, and you, your people are so wonderful. And um, you know, I don't know whether you wanted to say a few words about your people because <laughs> they're the heroes. <laughs> They're the heroes. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Uh, um, Dr. Biden, we are very grateful that you initiated this um, activity, this event today. Um, I'm very grateful that you took the time and made the effort to visit us. Um, we have always loved the Americans, and we feel safer if we know that they back us up. And uh, we are living now in a very tense uh, situation. That's why it's good to be united. And uh, um, uh, I guess that uh, everyone feels much better if uh, he knows that uh, he has friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, sticking together, being united, um, is very important to us. So thank you very much for this opportunity and for coming and joining us and giving us hope. And um, um, the feeling that we can rely on you because uh, that's very important and dear to all of us, I'm sure, for our Ukrainian friends. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Well, well, I feel like there's hope. You know, don't you? I feel like there's hope. And that's what we need. So thank you. I, uh, I would also want to thank, uh, of course, my people, the Romanians. I'm very proud to say that uh, I have always known that the Romanians are hospitable, but now uh, showing so much warmth is even better. And um, I really thank uh, everybody who has got involved, all the NGOs, all these uh, project makers mm -hmm. that uh, have brought us together and uh, I must admit that the authorities have also done a very good job because in such a short time they have managed to uh, involve these uh, children and their mothers yes. in some activities so that they forget about their uh, problem and their, their uh, pain. 
and we are really here to uh, please count on us uh, Ukrainian people we will love you we are uh, your friends we are here to soothe your uh, pain and we want to uh, really do all our best in order to uh, keep you safe and uh, as much happy as we can yes. and especially the children yes. And thank you, uh, principal of this uh, high school, because uh, yes, you you have done a, a marvelous job in such a short time. Everything has been provided to function well, and uh, I'm uh, very happy about it and uh, grateful. And we, you should know that we love you, and uh, with our friends, will be. <laughs> Um, the Minister of Education would like to also say a few words. Yeah, Dr. Biden, we have a great chance in Romania. It's the presidential project Educated Romania. It's a country project for equity and for quality in education. And in this framework, we can help better the Ukrainian children. It's a great opportunity and great chance for us. Thank you. We have kids and their mothers downstairs ready to welcome you <laughs> <laughs> in the courtyard, so I invite you all. <laughs>